Now that, that's all. That's all. We are not Mullahs on majority minority. Yes, that's correct. I, I'm, I'm glad that my learned friend pointed it out, Mullahs. Correct. But therefore, if these 39 are excluded from 164, Mullahs, will they still have 125? I am not Mullahs on that. I'm only saying that they voted against the whip, therefore they are deemed to be disqualified. That's all I'm saying, Mullahs. I'm not saying, Mullahs, whether he would have... Supposing, Mullahs, all of them are disqualified, because on that particular day, they voted against the whip. These 39? All 39. No, but therefore, if you exclude these 39 yes. from the 164, yes. they are still down to, they, they, they still get 125, right? That's right. Fact, Your lordship is right, Mullahs. I am, at the moment, Mullahs, I am, whether, I am not challenging. At the moment, Mullahs. Because this comes soon on the heels of the trust vote, which takes place on the 30th. Yes. <coughs> So, this is now an indicator within three days. The trust vote happened on the 4th. Because, Mr. Sibyl, you don't... Vote happen on the 30th, Mullahs. Right. You exactly. don't... Uh, ultimately, you don't... Uh, you don't face the uh, trust vote. Yeah, I don't, Mullahs. So therefore, it, it is held on the 4th. And we challenge the trust vote also. We've challenged all decisions. The election of the speaker, trust vote, whatever. All that is challenged. Mullahs, the question is, at the moment, Mullahs, we are dealing with a very, very limited issue. One... Should the courts have given time? That's a separate issue because separate. it's an order which is an interim order. Yeah, it's an interim order. What, the, what was the result of that, Mullahs? This, these people were able to topple the government without the disqualification petitions having been decided. There was an elected government, Mullahs, which was in power. The 10th schedule was used for the purposes of toppling an elected government. And supposing tomorrow, Mullahs, your lordship holds by these actions, which are uncontroverted, that they disqualify themselves, both on both counts, 2-1-A and 2-1-B, what will be the result? And if your lordship holds otherwise, let's assume, against me, then this will be, Mullahs, you have given them a model to topple every elected government. But Mr. Sibyl, are we not still down to, if you are really looking at the numbers here, are we not down to the situation where... The speaker's election at least indicates that if you, because 38 was sought to be disqualified, there were disqualification petitions against the 38. Now, if you exclude the 38 for a moment from the 164 who voted in, in favor of the resolution for the speaker, you still have a situation where you, you that, that's in very close proximity to the date on which the trust vote was to be held on the 30th. Yes. Now, you resign, right, on the 30th. Yes. And therefore, is this not really clearly an indicator that even excluding these 39... That's all right, the speaker could have been... Yes, I'm not disputing that. I'm not sure what the arithmetic is. Half 145 is a halfway mark, Mother. You deduct 34, you are below, Mother. I'm sorry. In fact, the arithmetic is the other way. No, it's 288 was the total... Yeah, just the number. Just give us. We we'll just give you the strength of the assembly. The Mr. Actual, just one second. Yes. Total strength of the assembly. Two hundred and eighty-eight. That was there from Mr. Sibyl's chart. Right. Which we had. Actual Sibyl. votes received by Mr. Narvekar were hundred and sixty-four, which is over the fifty percent mark of hundred and forty-four. Uh, just one second. Just uh, one one second. Total strength so the of the half assembly. mark would be a hundred and just one, one second. Yes. 145. So if 144 is the halfway mark, 145, 164 votes were received by Mr. Narvekar if the strength was taken to be 288. If 39 MLAs are excluded from the strength of the Legislative Assembly, the effective strength comes down to 249. 249. And out of those... Uh, just one second. 249, half of it is... 249 and then... And the effective votes received by Mr. Narvekar were 125, which is over 50% of the votes required. So under any circumstance, Effective Even if 39 so. MLAs are removed, plus there were only 16 disqualifications. Yes, plus on that date there were only 16 disqualifications, but I am going a step further. Even if there were 39 disqualifications, even then Mr. Narvekar was through. What is the halfway mark of 249? 124. 124, 124, 124. 125. 
and, and he had 125. Exactly the same. Yes. And at 12.01, they move a resolution expressing disqualification, expressing no confidence. Yes, no it is defeated. And later uh, again uh, and defeated. Oh. Uh, there were three independent disqualifications also, apart from this. One second. Hold on. The issue was argued. One second. One second. Printed out that in under any circumstances. Sir, one second. One second. There were three disqualification. Independent also were subject to disqualification. So it makes it below 125. Total is 41. But then the strength of the house also comes down. That's all right. But you don't get the majority then. But Malat, as I said, we are getting we are getting involved in issues that are not in issue before the court. 49. You will have to exclude the independents also. And therefore, the halfway huh? mark will accordingly be that. Is that what you see? So the total, let's go, go over it again. Total strength of the assembly is 288. Yes. The halfway mark is 145. That's right. Uh, excluding the 39 uh, Shiv Sena MLAs. Plus. And plus three independent MLAs. Just one second. It will be 246, Madhats. Just one second. And they would be having 122. So the strength of the house was 287. But mother, the 10 schedule doesn't talk of any of this. You can so do the arrangement. So we then come to, uh, we would uh, be down to? 42. 42. There's the, that is 42. So the effective house, strength of the house comes to 288 minus 1, 288 minus 42. Yes, Which yes, is yes. 248 and uh, 246. 46. Uh, 123 is the halfway mark. Well, whether they won or lost is not the issue. They'll still be disqualified. No, we just, that's all right. Your constitutional argument. 124 is the halfway mark, Mother. 123, 246. 124. 123. 123. 123. 126 minus. Um, Mother, it has to be, one, one more has to be given for, for halfway mark. So halfway mark is 123 and Narvikar gets uh, 125. Three more mullahs are no, disqualified. Three. You have included those three. 164 but minus 42 mullahs. Yes. Inclusive of so 122. So when you, if we exclude those uh, yes, three, three, then he yes. gets 122. 122. So it's below the halfway mark. But be that, well, the 10 schedule is not concerned with this. Well, we're not concerned with that, according to me. One second, one second, because we have said so. We, how can three independent MLAs? How can we? That is to be decided by the speaker. You can say what you want, but if there are three independent MLAs, they can't be disqualified by you. Even independent. Who says that? Procedure. They can't be. They well, my learned friend should. Uh, they are today claiming that we have to their disqualification. Mr. Call, you have to they, read the 10 schedule. Independent MLAs please, are concerned. Please read the 10 schedule before you make that submission. But unnecessarily, there's no point in making a submission which is contrary to the 10 schedule. No, no, but the most crucial fact is that the disqualification petitions were only against 16 and not the other Mullers, three. The disqualification MLAs were only 16, not 39. One second. In fact, on the third, all 39 are under disqualification because they voted against the whip. No, no, that's, that's, that's after the that's vote. That's, 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 that's after the speaker. No, no, no. We are proceeding. Not it's before, before the speaker. It is actually the entirety of the 38 comes in. Where is the position? Well, I, I don't think this arithmetic exercise of any relevance for the purpose of the tension. Yes. 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 Correct. It's just a matter of arithmetic. Mother, majorities are made up like this only, Mother. I was on 40. Yes. So if you exclude the 39 plus. 125. No, no, that's no minus those 39, 125. Mother, we are not on 39. We are on 40, 42. Just give us the number of number that he has got now. Narvikar gets total uh, 125 votes. Is that right? No, no he votes. gets 164. 164. 164. Actual votes are 164. Yes. Now we have to uh, we have to now consider. I mean, we just for the yes, yes. 
For my, from 164, you suppose deduct 39, which are the 39 persons against whom you say they, they are disqualified? No, even the other three, we said the same. We, but we filed a petition to that effect. Yes. Therefore, if you exclude 39, the Shiv Sena MLAs, and three independents, so you exclude from 164, 42. Yes. You, you are down to 122. That's correct. But they only had 107. They got 107 votes for their speaker candidate. I think one MLA had died as well. Yeah. When was that? So the actual strength was 287, right? Majority? If they had obeyed the whip, we'd be in majority. He would not have got elected. 107 plus 39 or whatever. So, mother, this is our, we are not, we are going into areas which have really not, not our concern at the moment. My concern is, is, is what happened and how the 10th schedule, in fact, which was meant to deal with. Mr. Sibyl, therefore, it also appears that apart from the 39 yes. who, uh, according to you, were disqualified, the three independents, of course, that you say they shouldn't have, they are also liable to be disqualified. There are other members of your legislature, legislative party who also voted in favor of Mr. Narvekar, that means. Yes. No. Yes. There some remained absent, mother. They didn't vote. They didn't vote for that. No, Narvekar polled 122. Yes. After excluding 39 SSMLAs yeah. and three independents, 42. Narvikar still polls 100, uh, 120. So some must have been absent, Murad. Some would have been absent. There were 13 independents, Murad. There are 13 independents, various parties, SP, PJP, CPM, BVA, MNS, MNS Swabiman Party, Rashtriya Samaj, Paksha, ASP, all kinds of parties are there.